่าต้องการอะไรไปสัมภาษณ์ทนายของเรา Six death, several police officers being flung behind bars, with long sentences and bilateral ties between two countries being in trouble for more than 30 years. We call this the Blue Diamond Affair. This story started with one simple Thai man. His name was k r i a n g r a i t e c h a m o n He traveled to work in Saudi Arabia, in which those days was an important destination for Thai laborers. k r i a n g r a i got employed as a cleaner in the palace of Prince Faisal bin Fahad, and slowly gained access to the prince's bedroom. He found the palace full of valuables, and most of them were not put away properly. Even the safe was not properly closed. In 1989, he began nicking valuables before he had the chance to nab a large pile and rush back to Thailand. All in all, he stole 91 kilograms of jewelry, gold, and valuable gems worth of 20 million dollars, including the rare 50 carat blue diamond, which still has not been found. k r i a n g r a i then shipped the stolen goods to his home in Lampang, and eventually sold most of them to Bangkok's jewelry store owner, s a n t i k s i t a n a h a n 90 kilos. Sack of, of rice or, or sack of uh, rice. And how sugar. could 90 kilos go out of the royal palace yeah. by one man and leave the country by one man? Where was everybody? I agree with you. Sleeping. No, no, I, I mean you. your police force but, must be fantastic. But don't forget that you lived in Saudi Arabia. Our customs. When you eat with me. In 1990, the case was handed to General s h a l o g u t e d who tracked down and arrested g r i n g r a i The suspect was sentenced to seven years in jail, but the sentence was half due to concession. s h a l a then took the recovered jewels back to Saudi Arabia, but most of the jewelry was found to be fake, and the blue diamond was missing. Soon after, the wives of the Thai government officials are reportedly spotted wearing jewelry that looks like the stolen items. Saudi Arabia accused the Thai police of having pocketed the recovered items. The Saudi charge DFS Mohammed said k o j a hires a special investigation team to hunt down the stolen jewels. Mohammed a l u w a r i a Saudi businessman close to the House of Saud, also arrived in Thailand to investigate the case personally. But things turned sinister when three Saudi diplomats were killed on February the 1st, 1990. And Al r u w a r i disappears 11 days later and is believed dead. Saudi Arabia downgrades diplomatic ties with Thailand and stops issuing work visas to Thai nationals. It also discourages citizens from visiting Thailand. This has a huge impact on the Thai economy. The number of Thai workers in Saudi Arabia drops from 1,500,000 in 1989. To barely 10,000 in 2006, k o j a claims the diplomats were assassinated by the Thai police, though the U.S. embassy points to Hezbollah. The search for Saudi diamonds in Thailand starts again in 1994, led by the same person, c h a l o k u t h e p This time, he focuses on the jewelry store owner, s a n t i to ensure all the diamonds had been returned. s a n t i s wife and son are held in ransom before being killed. c h a l o and nine others are implicated in the killings and arrested. Also in 1994, then Police General p o t b u n y a t i n d a issues a public call for the stolen gems to be returned, and someone anonymously delivers 605 items worth 10 million baht. In 1995, c h a l o is found guilty and sentenced to death. His team of nine police officers is also incarcerated. In 2009, the Supreme Court upholds the death sentence, but c h a l o is granted a royal pardon and released in 2013 after 19 years behind bars. In 2010, a lawsuit is filed against the Department of Special Investigations General Som k i t m u n t a n o n and four police officers one month before the statute of limitations on the a l u w a r i case runs out. The Supreme Court acquits s o m k i t and the four police officers in 2019 for lack of reliable evidence.
Prime Minister General Prayut San Ocha goes to Saudi Arabia on a two-day visit on January 25th and 26th at the invitation of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, marking the first highest-level visit by a Thai leader in more than 30 years. Diplomatic ties are restored, though the Blue Diamond affair remains unsolved.